Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat, or Acid Kitten, and today is going to be a new products video slash things I just bought video, and I'm actually wearing today. Um, just like to preface this video, I do have my window open because it's like, it's a really nice day. It's like 75 degrees, and you will hear dogs barking, construction, um, the occasional siren if, you know, someone's dying because I live on a very busy stretch of road. So yeah, you're gonna hear that in the background, but it's okay, we're, we're gonna push through. I'm gonna try to compress as much as that um, background noise as I can, and if I can't, at least you know why it's there. Anyway, let's get into the, some of the stuff that I have purchased. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Cheek Dew from ColourPop, and these are actually currently, they have like a bundle deal going on where you can get two for 12. Yeah, two for 12, because they're like $7 each. So I ordered four of these, and let me pull up my email. So the colors that I ordered were Rumors, Beyond, So Cosmo, and Psst. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like what, like looking back at my order um, on my phone right now, I've noticed that So Cosmo and Rumors are basically the same. They're just like one's peach and one's orange, and Beyond and Psst are a little bit of the same too. Psst is more of like a rosy color, and Beyond is like I would say like a berry mixed with a. Yeah, see, yeah, I have dogs back here who. Um terrorize my ears so yeah beyond is more of like a berry mixed with a like a brown and I really like that so this is a serum blush so it's definitely gonna be like a little bit more nourishing to the skin and it's gonna be a little bit different than like your typical um, cream blush so I also have like a glossier blush I think it's in it's a it's a cloud paint it's in beam and honestly I love that because it's so easy to apply you just like put a little bit on your fingers tap it into the skin and it's like you're done. Um, today I'm actually wearing my Tower 28 blush and it's in... What shade are you? I'm actually going to talk about Tower 28 in a second because I I love this blush. It's really good. Where is it? There it is. I'm wearing Golden Hour today. And it's kind of like this like... It's like an orangey coral. Um, and I, I love it. I used my Fenty Beauty blush brush to apply it and it, it worked you know, for some of that it's not intended to work for, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this in the mail. I should be getting it next week and I'm definitely going to post a review on that. Um, I already think it's going to be good just based on what I saw on the website. I think it's going to be amazing. I know that ColourPop, like, they like to push the limits with things and they like to try new things. So I'm, I'm rooting for this. I'm excited. I'm glad I got four so I can try the different colors. Um, they didn't have a lot available because like as soon as they dropped people just just bought all the colors that i wanted so i have to wait until like they restock but like once they do that i'm probably gonna get four more all right so the next product i'm going to talk about is the microfill brow pencil by huda beauty so i'm wearing that today and um yeah i freaking love it so I am a Benefit brow girl. I've said this before, I've said it a thousand times, I love Benefit. I think the Precise in My Brow Pencil is like the best thing ever. Um, honestly, I, I have to, I have to bow to Huda. Like it's, first of all, it's cheaper. It's $17. It's $17 and it's really good. It's so good. So I actually did like a couple swatches on my hand. I don't think you can really see it because the camera's like focused on me. Um, but yeah, it's it's really nice that you can like build it up and thicken it, like depending on your eyebrows and like the type of look that you want. Um, it's so fine. Like the, the pencil tip is stupid fine. Like it's literally almost, it's focusing on me. I'm trying to get to not focus on it's gonna focus on me yeah so it's like it's really it's crazy fine I feel like I'm gonna break it if I advance it too much but it's it's perfect like this is the type of brow pencil that I've I've been looking for for a really long time um 
the color is really nice. I think it's like very pigmented and it gives me the payoff I'm looking for with my brows. It shears out pretty well once you use a spoolie. My only gripe about this is that the spoolie is kind of, it's kind of stiff. Um, yeah, it's not as, as gentle as most spoolies are or as soft. I would prefer if the brow MVP from Fenty Beauty, like if it had that type of spoolie where it's just more like like a flat brush as opposed to just like your traditional type of spoolie. Um, it's really, it's kind of abrasive. That's my only real gripe about this. I got this in the color seven, which is black brown. And this is like, literally get this. If you're looking for a really good brow product that's gonna give you that natural look and you don't have to do a lot with like concealer and stuff afterwards, this is the brow product you're looking for. Like, I hence, again, I love Benefit. I think Benefit's amazing, but this is the best brow product I've, I've used in a while. And again, it's only $17. Benefit is 24. So you're saving a couple bucks. It's not like a ton of money, but it's still something. Um, yeah, love it, hands down. I think it's amazing. Get it, get it today, go to Sephora. I think they're having like their, their, uh, what is it? Their VIB thing. Yeah, go to Sephora, get it. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the Tower 28. Oh, what is this? It's their Beach Please Tinted Balm. So this is a duo, it actually can be used, I wonder if you can use it. No, cause that's gross, you put it on your eyes. Anyway, so it's a tinted balm. So you can put it on your cheeks or your lips just to give you like that kind of like really cute like flush look that you see a lot with like Korean beauty. Um, they have three new shades that they came out with and the shades are Rush Hour, Power Hour, and After Hours. So I'm wearing Golden Hour today and I was able to apply it using the Fenty Beauty blush brush that was supposed to work for her blushes, but I could barely pick up any product with that. But with this one, it was super easy. I think it's just like a difference in formulation. Um, this one doesn't feel sticky on my face at all. I feel like it just blends right into my skin and it doesn't feel like heavy or uncomfortable, which I love. That's why I mainly look for in a, a, a cream or a liquid blush. I look for something that feels like my skin, but it still gives me that kind of like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I wanna say like inner, like inner glow or inner, inner radiance. I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, like if I want something like that. So the two colors I'm definitely gonna get are Power Hour and After Hours. Power Hour is more of like that rosy brown and After Hours is that berry that I've been looking for. Um, ColourPop, they have that sold out on their website. I was trying to get that, but you know, as soon as people saw it, they just, they got it. Um, Rush Hour is a bit too light for me. Um, it's definitely more of like, it's like a light peach. And I, I don't think it's gonna show up on my skin. If it does, it's probably gonna look stupid. Um, so I'm not gonna get that. But if you are like, if you do have lighter skin, I would definitely suggest getting that because that's gonna look so cute because um, I think it's still winter. Yeah, it's almost springtime. So yeah, refresh your makeup. This is like, it's super cute if you have like lighter skin, if you want something that gives you that kind of like pinch look without going like way too washed out. Um, and it's a really nice formula. I think it, it layers well on top of your makeup. It feels good. It's not sticky. Um, I forget the price point. Let me go to Sephora's website. Tower. Oh, my computer did that screechy thing. Does anyone know what that that is when your computer does a screechy thing. What is that? I feel like it's something inside of it that I I don't know. I'll ask my fiance next time he comes down. So yeah, they're twenty dollars. Um, I would get it. Get it. I have it. I love it. Definitely get it. All right. So the next thing. This is gonna be a, a very blush heavy episode. So. Um, Mel Cosmetics actually came out with, well, they're coming out with a cream blush and I have one of their, um, their blush lights and like, I like it. I don't love it. I feel like it doesn't have enough micro glitters in it for me to like use it as a highlight. It definitely works more. It's like a blush. So I give them that. 
they haven't dropped it yet on their website so um you definitely have to wait for the notification on instagram or like if you receive their emails um wait for that notification but from what i see from i want to say she's one of the owners on trend mood it looks like it it applies really well and it blends really well so i really can't wait to get this i like that they have a lot of foreign shades which i i'm glad that we're getting into that you know that kind of like sunburnt type look i remember last year or was it year before last i think it was last year um because i'm sus i'm subscribed to carlon's emails and so their newsletter they were talking about how everyone's going back to that like 80s 90s like beach look where everyone had like you know nice wind windswept hair and like that kind of like that flush look from being out in the sun all day like we're going back to that and when i saw them apply the makeup for those tutorials i was thinking like this is this is like giving me nostalgia that i've always needed and i've always wanted so i'm glad that we're getting away from like our traditional you know pinks and roses and we're getting more into like the corals the bronzes you know the oranges I'm glad that we're getting into those because I feel like those are one more inclusive because more people can use them and two it's just more interesting like I feel like pinks are kind of I mean they're okay they're I, I have a ton of uh, pink blushes but I feel like I reach for my orange blushes more and I've been purchasing more orange lately and like more browns and, and like like deep roses and berries all right so i'm back okay so for some reason i cannot figure out how to keep my camera going i've i've done the memory card thing with switching to like like what are they doing i don't even know what they're working on um so i've switched out my memory card to like something that has like a better capacity and i've turned off the setting to where like doesn't automatically turn off and still does this so if anyone knows how to stop it from doing this let me know in the comment section down below okay i don't know what that was but scared me <laughs> anyway so yeah um i've been purchasing more of like the oranges and like the bronzes and the berries and i definitely prefer those over like the traditional pinks so i'm glad that mel is coming out with those and I can't wait to see the price point because that's going to be my determining factor as to like how many I'm going to get. All right, so the next thing oh, I just had it. There it is. We're going to talk about is the Black Cherry Collection from MAC. Now, MAC always comes out with a Sakura collection every spring. That's just like what they do. I remember when I was working at Macy's, they came out with that and I was just like, I'm not gonna buy it because it's literally just cherry blossoms on packaging and it's the same products um so we're gonna talk about the um extra dimension blush that they have oh, i do have a couple of those i have like two of them and i love the ones that i have but with these i see this is what i was talking about like how most companies are sticking to like pinks and pinks and like rose and stuff like that and how they're not expanding into like the bronzes and the oranges and the corals this is kind of giving me that like we're stuck in that pattern and we don't really want to change anything or move which i mean it's fine because you know if it's not broken don't fix it but at the same time i only want one of these because like i'm, oh, I'm looking at one at one shade and yeah dilly dilly dolly It's either Dilly Dolly or Look Don't Tough. I'm going to say it's Look Don't Tough. Because I have, I have one that looks just like this already. And I don't really need, I don't need two of the same thing. Just one has like interesting packaging. Um, I'm probably just gonna get the their deepest shade because I think it's it's very rich and very very lovely. But I do also have their Electric Wonder face palettes, so I may not need this color because I may already own that already. Yeah, I I might get one of these. I might not. I just have to take a look at into like my complexion products to see what I have. Um, because if I do already have this, I'm I'm not gonna rebuy. <laughs> 
that's stupid. All right, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the... This is from Milk Cosmetics, and it's their... Their color chalks. So yeah, um, when I first saw this, I was like... What? Huh? I, I thought it was stupid. I, I thought this was like the dumbest thing ever when I first saw this. Um, especially with the price point being $18. I, I just thought that... It was it was crazy and dumb um but they're actually having a sale right now and it's like tw it's their 25 percent off friends and family sale and so i got one of them I ha i'm actually wearing it today it's called skip it and i got that 25 percent off um and i stand corrected i love it i love it i it's so okay one it's super easy to apply um you don't really need a whole lot of technique with it to apply it you just literally just just swipe it on blend it out with your finger and you're done um i love that i like that the look that it gives you because it it gives you that i swear to god like gen z y'all are amazing it gives you that like really interesting like that gen z look like kind of that like euphoria look without being too like you could wear this day or night it, get, it has a nice ref reflection from it. It's great highlight. I feel like I can wear it on my cheeks as well. Um, it's a very versatile product. I haven't done anything like mix it with any of like my... Um, do I have that thing up here? Yes, I do. Yeah, so I have a, a um, face and eye gloss from MAC. So I haven't mixed it with that, but I'm definitely going to try to do that um, when I... I feel like chopping it up <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna definitely like experiment it experiment with it a little bit I was gonna do like an eye gloss look today with it but I was like oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try it out see if I like it first um so yeah I'm I definitely want to get more I I highly recommend this I think I'm gonna get that green shade that they have probably gonna get like a green and a blue and maybe that this gold shade yeah I love it. I think it's amazing. You should get it. Um, I stand corrected. I'm sorry, Milk. Um, you made a great product. And I will buy more. Anyway, so another product from Milk that I'm wearing today is their Sunshine Skin Tint. And I'm wearing Shea Caramel. Um, honestly, like, when I first got it, I, I took out the... Hold on, let me grab it. Oh, also another thing with the color chalks you get this much product i was kind of mad about it before but you don't need a lot you need very little for it to like for you to make a look so anyway oh that's a big audio peak yeah i have my i don't like using the microphone from my camera because it sucks so i have a snowball that i use so yeah you actually get you get a lot of product um i thought it was gonna be too deep for my skin but then i forgot like we are going into like spring and summer so i will be like <sighs> pandemic permitting i may be getting some sun this year um i didn't get a lot of sun last year so I'm actually glad that I, I ordered it in a deeper shade because I feel like if I were to like got in a lighter shade, it would look weird. Um, but it's, you don't need a lot of it. Much like with the, the chalk, you don't need a lot of it. It applies super easily. You can layer it. So what I did was like, I, I did a section, I rubbed it in see how it looked. And I was like, okay, let me do a little bit more here and there. Um, and yeah, it's, it feels awesome like it's uh, it dries down super well i don't know about how much it transfers let me get a cotton pad so yeah let me just kind of so yeah it kind of transfers a little like, of course, not all makeup is going to be, like, 100%, you know, I'm going to stick on your face, like, glue. So, you kind of do get a little bit of transfer. I don't know if you can see that. 
but so far I like it. I think it's nice. Um, I feel like this is just something I could I can throw on. It doesn't feel heavy on my face. Um, it does give me like I I've noticed that I'm looking in the mirror right now. Um, my skin isn't like super oily with it on, which is an A plus for me because I have stupid oily skin. So, um, yeah, get yourself some of this lovely sunshine skin tint. I. I like, I feel like I'm just, I'm loving every product today, which is rare. Um, yeah, I, I love everything. <laughs> that never happens. Oh my God. All right. And of course, the last but not, not least, I'm going to talk about my about face, um, the liquid eyeshadow. So I'm wearing it as like, I, I was just in a rain on me last night and of course, like, the makeup of that music video kind of inspired this look. So I'm wearing it as like a graphic liner today and my only gripe about it is that it's super duper cracky when it dries down. So it it applies really well, mind you. It, it lays really well until your eyes start to move <laughs> and that's when everything just goes straight to hell and it's it, you're gonna get cracks. Um, I'm a pretty expressive person, you know, I I tend to, you know, widen my eyes and everything. So if you're more of like a low key individual, I would definitely, this would be the product for you if you don't like your face to move. But if you like for your face to like emote, yeah, it's not good. Um, I've tried it as like just the eyeshadow, like just alone. And I still got the same type of cracking. I felt like I just had to keep layering and layering just to like even up everything and like yeah, I guess patch some of those cracks, but as soon as that dried down, it just made it worse. I just had like just these thick areas of just like product buildup and I, I'm just not a huge fan of that. Um, but as a graphic liner, I think it, it applies really well. Um, I used a, it was a ColourPop angle liner brush to, to do this and it was fairly easy to apply. You really don't have to do a whole lot but you will get cracking and that's my only grapes. So if they come back with a reformulated version, I'm gonna get one of those because I have four of these and I'm kind of disappointed. So we'll see what they do next. If they do come out with something, you know, the same product, but with a different formulation next year. But until then, I'm, I'm still, gonna, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna return it. I think I'm gonna keep it and just like work with what I have. Um. But yeah, it's it's really cracky and annoying. Um, so that's where we're gonna end today's video. Um, I'm glad that I was actually satisfied with these new releases and these new products. Um, as soon as my ColourPop ones come in, I'm definitely gonna film a video about that. Thank you for joining me here on the channel. I appreciate you being here. And as always, have a good day, night, evening, wherever you are. And I will see you next time, hopefully for an episode of Hometown Horror and not just a filler episode of me just talking about makeup. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.